Hey guys, what's going on? It is AE and I'm here with Luke Ward. I know you guys probably know who Luke is. Uh, last three years, number one solar rep in the world, has one of the largest teams, kicking butt. Um, what I love about Luke, and I'm gonna hand it over to him and he's gonna rip and you're gonna be like, oh my God, I love Luke too. Um, is it under 12 months, this guy will make you a million bucks a year. You say, how? Well, it's simple. This guy's a self-development freak. Everybody that's around him, you see my hat, it says comeback kid. He's a guy that's came back. He once, you know, had a life that he didn't want and he found an opportunity, he got his stuff together and he's crushing it and he's killing it. And every day he looks around for people that literally are looking for that same opportunity. Now, you don't have to have a bad life or a messed up life. I just really see things in people that, got a chip on their shoulder that, you know, maybe they weren't always, you know, like great, like everybody else. And they made a couple of mistakes. Usually those people, man, when given an opportunity, those people end up being really awesome. Some of the highest producers in any company. And so Luke has an amazing culture, literally Elliott army. Um, I built a culture that like people fly in from around the world every day just to see our culture. And Luke is literally 10 minutes from me and his culture is identical to ours. And so every day, I have such a great audience, I try to introduce my people, you guys who are amazing, to Luke. Because I know a lot of you right now are looking for your way out. You're looking for a level 10 earning opportunity. You're looking for um, an, the ability to be, put a financial fence around yourself and your family. This is it, man. So Luke, I love you, bro. Um, enough about you know kind of what's going on and me talking about you. I want you to meet Luke. If you have met him already, you already know he's a fireball. He's doing cool stuff. Luke is the leader of leaders. He's one of the most coachable people in the world, but he's expanding and building his team right now. So let everybody know what's going on, what we're doing, and, and really, and at the end, how they can be a part of it. But if not, if they run a company, they need to listen closely to how you're building yours right now. Right, well, thank you. Thank yep. you so much for that. Hey, listen, if, <laughs> if you're watching this right now, it's for a purpose. Nothing happens as a coincidence. You're watching this. You've been preparing the soil of your mind to be ready for the seed to be planted. Now, how we're going to get you is we're going to get you by telling you you can make a million dollars. But what you'll become in the process is something that's even more valuable mm -hmm. than the money that you're going to make. Listen, people want to be part of an organization that's badass. They want to be part of an organization that sets the standards high. People want to be part of an organization where people get close to God. They get ripped. They get in, in incredible, amazing shape. They have good relationships. They, if you're married or if you have a girlfriend, it's going to be the best relationship of your entire life, right? You're going to do some soul searching. You're going to do some introspection. And you're going to be around with a group of people that are all in the same upward trajectory. We don't have duds here. Everybody is bought into a system and a system and a process and a machine that creates heroes. Yep. Andy always talks about a hero making machine. Well, I was like, how do I do this? What do I do? I went to strategies and I was like figuring out. And then I just took a look at the organization he's built and I'm like, I want that. And you know why I want that? Because this is what the world needs today. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've been able to duplicate that same thing. And not only this, not only are you going to just become the greatest version of you that's ever existed, you're also going to make a crap ton of money. I mean, like I have a blueprint for seven figure success. Mm -hmm. This is a recipe. This isn't like, oh, I don't know what you got to do. You got to do this. No, this is something that you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this, and this is the end result. And in that process, you're going to gain the mental resiliency, the mental fortitude. You're going to have the grit. You're going to have the tenacity. You're going to be able to overcome objections easily and effortlessly. And here's the other thing. We're not just selling solar. That's not what we're actually selling here. We're not selling solar. I'll tell you what we're doing is we're giving people absolute certainty and predictability in the future. Mm. In an unpredictable world, in a world full of uncertainty, we are giving them what they desperately want and need. They're gonna have control over their finances. We're gonna give people a better quality of life. People right now in Arizona are keeping their AC at 82 degrees. Now just imagine yourself in your house at 82 degrees. Are you comfortable? Do you think they're comfortable? No. We're going to give them the ability, the capacity to have a much better quality of life. They're going to be able to put that thermostat at 72 rather than putting at a comfortable a temperature, comfortable for reptiles. Mm -hmm. Listen, the yeah. other thing we're going to do is we're going to be able to give them tens of thousands of dollars of savings. Listen, I love relationships where it's a win or win bigger, mm -hmm. right? I love relationships where everybody's winning. There's no loser in this equation. 
you're going to make a ton of money. The customer's going to save tens of thousands of dollars over a period of time. You're going to be able to put people to work, installers to work, that need to be able to feed their families. We're going to be the tip of the spear and we're going to create our own economy. I want you to buy in. There's a reason that you watch this today. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're hearing us talk about this level 10 earning opportunity, you can make a lot of money. You guys read my hat right now, it says Comeback Kid. Luke, for the last three years, has been the number one solar person in the world. He's earned more money, he, he sold more solar, and he's leading an incredible team. And he's a comeback guy. And so I'm always telling you, I'm the underdog. I got a chip on my shoulder. I love people that got a chip on their shoulder that they come back kid. If that's you and you're like, man, dude, I need a great leader that sees something in me. I got a chip on my shoulder and I, I'm a comeback kid. Man, Luke says he can make you, listen to me, a million dollars in the next 12 months. How hard are you willing to work for somebody that believes in you like that, okay? Raise your standards, be a good person, all the things that he's talking about right now on this podcast. Look, dude, I'm gonna introduce you to Luke personally. I put a link below in the description box. All you gotta do is click on it. Luke will reach out to you himself. If you're serious about changing your life, making a lot of money, and bringing value to other people in this world and becoming your best self, right now, Luke Ward will reach out to you the next 24 hours. Go down below, click the link. He'll reach out to you. This is a chance, this is your opportunity for your way out and change your life. I love you guys. Let's get back to the video. There's a reason why you clicked on this today. Maybe you just clicked on it because you saw the, the title and you're like, dude, yes, I'm gonna click on this. But there's a purpose and there's a reason why you, you clicked on that today. This is the purpose. Live out your higher purpose. Live out the version of yourself that's the greatest version of yourself. I will develop that. Andy, with the help of Andy, taking a play right out of his playbook. Listen, he's created this incredible, amazing culture. Just the people of these standards are just ridiculously high. His fitness level is ridiculously high. I thought I was in shape and he calls me fat all the time. But let me just tell you. It's a new level of everything. It's a closer relationship with God. I believe that in this day and age that we need warriors. I really truly believe this. The world needs warriors. We don't need weak, passive people. We need people standing up for what they believe in and having the courage to do so. So if you like that and you wanna be a part of that and this really feels good and it resonates with you, I would love to have you part of my organization. Yeah, Luke, let's talk about something real quick. By the way, everything you said, Spot on, that's the way they live. Because this is important, because it's gonna bring you back full circle. And by the way, I'll be with you guys every step of the way when you're with him. So we're gonna be together all the time. But a second thing is, tell him your story real quick. Because this guy, this guy didn't always exist. We built this guy, you've built this guy. You know, earning a million, two million a year selling solar, like you've done it, now you teach others to do it because you have the blueprint. But let's give him a quick three minute backstory on you right because dude like your story is so amazing like this is who you are today yeah if they met you today they would never know any of these things i would just thank god this guy's just he, he's just built like this amazing badass yeah you know give him a little backstory man so i can be like you know like no matter where i'm coming from i can come and be like this yeah well, appreciate it. So let me just kind of give you some, some depth of Because I love your story. Your story is a, the comeback story. 20 years ago, I was living on the streets, eating out of dumpsters in a heroin addict, right? Um, I was trying to save up enough money. When I got back to prison, I could buy a television this time. My life, I continued to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. And I was desperately searching for something outside of myself to make me feel whole and good. I was searching for fulfillment and purpose, and I sought that out with drugs and substances, and literally my life was an absolute disaster and a wreck. The only thing, there, even all my cells have changed throughout this process. So I made a decision a long time ago. I was not going to continue to live like that. I started making new decisions. I started doing a ton of personal development, investing in myself. And you need I started some new people in your life, right? New people. And then yes. whole transformation. And here's, here's the best part. Like, and this is probably where you're at right now here today. This is why you resonate with Andy. Because that you know if you align with somebody or you have proximity, that you know with the rising tide raises all ships. What I mean by that is when we find these incredible, amazing people that make us better people, latch on to those people. Do whatever it takes to be a part of them. Mm -hmm. Because here's the idea. First of the year, like December 31st, I was writing down my goals and my dreams and desires, and I did not have a close relationship with Andy. And I wrote down all these things. 
I, I live my life one of design versus fate. Fate doesn't mm -hmm. exist in my life. It's part of my design. Mm -hmm. and I wrote down all these goals and then all of a sudden I was introduced to Andy and I was like, dude, once I recognized, once I saw the organization, I saw these people, like it allowed me to up level myself in every single area. My fitness, the relationship I have with my wife, my relationship with God, mm -hmm. like every and single area. My kids, my absolute kids, I, like every single area, I'm I hold myself to a higher standard of living. Dude, and you're such a, you're, you were a great leader, but now you're one of the best leaders in the world. And it's, you know, it's tell, tell it's them how you lead. Tell lead, them how do you lead now. Yeah, so if, when you're with me yeah, like and you're on my team, I lead people. from the front. So this isn't like, I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you by the hand and we're going to go out and do this thing. We're going to knock some doors. We're going to close a lot of deals. I'm going to give you the tactics and skills and give you the, the, uh, the information that you really need to be a better person. The other thing is we stay super close. Like I, I consider um, all of the people that work with me my chosen family. Andy and the LA Groups talks about the chosen family. Mm -hmm. These guys are at my, you guys are at my house all the time. Yeah. Everybody's cold plunging every single day. We had a meeting at my house. We're always doing barbecues. We're doing the boat. We're doing all sorts of stuff and kind of staying close. I believe that when you stay close it's a to life, somebody, right? It's not a job. It's a completely different yeah, life. Because it sounds like, like anytime that somebody says, I've got this opportunity, you're thinking, oh, it's a new job. Like, but your people don't have a job with you. They do life with you. Uh, you love if they have a family or kids or whatever, but if they're serious about these values that you carry, they're going to make a lot of money. And then you want to do life with these people because that's the way that you want to live. You don't want a job. A J-O-B sounds uh, like junk. Nobody wants a job. If you get a job, you're just a, you're just a number for the your, whoever the CEO is or whoever's doing the P&Ls. You're just like, okay, well, he made this much money. They don't appreciate or love you. Listen, sometimes I've been told I love too much. I pour in too much. I'm like, well, mm. what happens if I didn't do that? Yeah. What happens if I don't do that? What am I going to get in return? I'm not going to get the same level of return. And even if I pour into somebody and I love somebody until it hurts and they leave or something happens, yeah. at the end of the day, I did something that changed their life, yeah. changed the trajectory of life. And at the end of the day, it's going to make this world a better spot. Like, yeah. And so getting close and staying close, uh, it's my wife and I and uh, the kids and the family. We do a ton of stuff together. This isn't just like you come out here, you sell solar, you go home. Like we stay super close. And ultimately, it's the ultimate level of accountability because it's not just me. It's not like Luke's show. This is our show. Mm -hmm. And everybody is holding themselves to the same standard. So if you're living in one of the houses that we, we assign to you and you're living with these guys, they're going to hold you that same level of standard. And so do not apply if you're not willing to have total recreation. Yeah. If you've got some bad habits, keep those bad habits there. Do not bring them here. You will be held accountable. But if you want a better life, yeah. If you're seeking something out to be the best version of yourself, I would love to have you. Yeah, and you know what? It's funny because, you know, in order to make more money, right? If anybody's watching this and they want to earn more money, you want to become wealthier, you know, you want to grow in your marriage, you want to you grow in any area of life. There's only one way. It's higher level of accountability. Like, even for me and you, like you said, hey, I'm at the beginning of this year, you know, I met Andy, you know, and then I wanted to change. Really what happened is that I pressed you to a higher level of accountability and that's what a good coach does. And you're a coach to all of your people. Yeah. You just, dude, isn't it cool when someone sees more in you than you ever thought was possible? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? That's yeah. why I'm always seeing it. I'm like, Luke, why are you fat? Why are you this? <laughs> and, and, and it's like, but everybody else <laughs> like, no, talk about Luke, your fitness. everybody's like, Luke's in good shape. And then I'm like, Luke, why are you make, not making enough money? And everybody's telling Luke, Luke, you make plenty of money. And it's like, it's like he's hearing two different things. But which one does Luke feed off of? The, the one where it's flattery and everybody's telling him how great he is. Or the other one where it's the guy going, dude, you know you're way better than that, right? Spot on. And he's like, I am better than that. What am I doing? Wait a minute, I almost settled. Dude, the, the, the goal for the devil is to make you average or to, to create comfort in your life so you'll slow down. Man, he's so good, dude. He's yeah. so good. So you gotta be around people that keep you stirred up. Remember, yeah. you know, a marriage in the beginning or when you're dating somebody, you're trying to reprove every day why that person should stay with you. You know, one day you want, you, you want to tell each other you love each other, you know, and then one day you get married and once you get married, you just, like it just Fizzles. goes out. Because the reproof stage ends. Your goal is to surround as many people around you as you can 
and it's not going to be a big number, um, but that are in the reproof stage in every area of life because life is so amazing when you're with these people. And so that's what you're doing. Like, yes, it is a business. Yes, it is a company. And yes, everybody needs to make money. And he wants you to make a lot of it. But he doesn't want to have the normal relationship between company and employee, right? You're like, dude, these people, again, he said, these are my chosen family. That means this. I spend more time with you guys than anyone else. I'm with you all the time. So I want to like you. Yeah. I want to know that you're striving to be a good person. You know, and when he said raise your standards, he's like, dude, you ain't got to be perfect. You just got to want to be a better person. And when you're around people that are getting 1% better every day, which is us, which is everyone else, I mean, you look up and, you know, in a year or two, I mean, oh my God, you're totally a different person, you know, and you're doing things you never thought you could do. And to me, it's proximity. It's being around these people. And so, and he's got a system. And there's, so there's different types of people. Now, obviously, that, that would want to come join his team. You could be married. You could have kids because he's married and has kids. He loves that. Um, you could be someone who's 18 to 22 years old, you know, being like, man, dude, I just want to, you know, self-develop. Hey, maybe I like Andy Elliott a lot. I want to be close to him. I want to make good money. I mean, who doesn't want to make a million in the next 12 months? I mean, you know, like that alone should be like, awesome. Okay, cool. But you're not going to be traveling the world, going on blitzes, you know, everywhere. I mean, you know, you're right here in Arizona. Yeah. Beautiful so, Scottsdale, Arizona. Sunniest state in the country. Yeah. Dude, 10 months out of the year, guys. Well, I would say every month it is. Uh -huh. But 10 months out of the year, it's just warm weather, you know? And even our winter is like 60 degrees. Yeah. I mean, it's so cool. You know, to be my state of mind and my, my, uh, my happiness and all that is just always on point in Arizona. Um, when I lived in Oklahoma, it was six months cold, mm -hmm. six months hot. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. No. It rains one month a year yeah, here. If that. Um, yeah. And like, and, but it's such a beautiful place. Mountains, palm trees, warm weather. I mean, it's, you know, Scottsdale is one of the greatest, most beautiful growing hubs ever. Everything yeah. you want, beautiful people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just super cool. It's like one of the greatest places to live on planet Earth is right here. I believe so. Yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't live anywhere else. Yeah, and 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 then and then also we're here, right? And then your income that you want is here, and having a good life and your best self's here, dude. That's why this is a no brainer. This is cool. Every so so Luke's building an army, an army, and your culture's unreal. I mean, your guys are all on fire. And by the way, there's girls and guys, right? Yep. yep <clears throat> I want to say it. It is more of a guy thing. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure for what reason why, because women are really good in sales. But but there are some women that sell to you that are very good. Very good. And they're very good. And and you know, males and females can be driven the same, the, the exact same. But you know, it, it's generally something where, you know, you're a driven person, I'm a driven person. So we like that drive, we like that fire. There's a lot of alpha females out there that'll do really well as well. Um, but the most important thing is that they're all a family. Like they all push each other. They're all growing together. They're all training. Their families, you know, the, the gym time together. You know, I love this, he's got two chat lines. One has the general chat line, what we're selling today, what's going on, you know, just like productivity, right? And then there's another one that's the, the fitness. You know what I mean? Yep. Everybody, you know, fo focusing on getting to the next level in their personal development. Um, because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else. It's not about getting a six pack, it's just about you becoming your best self and it's super cool. And like, I just love that he's embodying everything that everyone wants. Think about this. You may work for a company and you're like, man, you know, I don't ever get to take care of myself. Dude, in his company, it's a requirement. It's a requirement. It is pressed on for you to spend time every day being mentally healthy, being physically fit and taking care of yourself. Yeah. Dude, imagine a job out there that's like, in this company, we want you to put yourself first, take care of yourself, be mentally healthy, and be proud of you. Yeah. What? Isn't that cool? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're hearing us talk about this level 10 earning opportunity, you can make a lot of money. You guys read my hat right now, it says Comeback Kid. Luke 
for the last three years, been the number one solar person in the world. He's earned more money, he, he sold more solar, and he's leading an incredible team. And he's a comeback guy. And so I am always tell you I'm the underdog. I got a chip on my shoulder. I love people that got a chip on their shoulder that they come back in. If that's you and you're like, man, dude, I need a great leader that sees something in me. I got a chip on my shoulder and I, I'm a comeback kid. Man, Luke says he can make you, listen to me, a million dollars in the next 12 months. How hard are you willing to work for somebody that believes in you like that? Okay, raise your standards, be a good person, all the things that he's talking about right now on this podcast. Look, dude, I'm gonna introduce you to Luke personally. I put a link below in the description box. All you gotta do is click on it. Luke will reach out to you himself. If you're serious about changing your life, making a lot of money, and bringing value to other people in this world and becoming your best self, right now, Luke Ward will reach out to you the next 24 hours. Go down below, click the link. He'll reach out to you. This is a chance, this is your opportunity for your way out and change your life. I love you guys. Let's get back to the video. So that's a part of all of this right here. Um, Luke, why do you love doing this? You make plenty of money without a team. Okay, yeah. why, why are you so obsessed with building these teams and, and teaching these guys the seven-figure blueprint? Yeah, so for me, I can continue to make seven Because your life would be easier without I, it. Way easier. Let me just yes. tell you, the idea, yes. I take a huge amount of burden on and um, I take a lot of the others. If, you, if you've got problems and you're on my team, like I internalize that and I try to figure out the solutions and some of that stuff weighs a little bit heavy on me. I could easily and effortlessly make seven figures year after year after year with, without having a team. But what I've noticed is like I can continue to do that, but the fulfillment, mm. making seven figures. I know you guys are thinking right now, seven figures, I couldn't imagine, wow. But once you get to that point and you're like, you realize like you don't have the fulfillment that comes with that. Yes, it's, a, it's an achievement. You feel good about it. You can spend your money on all that stuff, but it didn't lead to fulfillment. For, so for fulfillment for me, comes to my core values. Mm -hmm. My core values are to make impact and drive value, right? And so, like, how do I do that? Well, what I can do is I can take anybody, anywhere, anytime, any place, and I can put into a system and I can change their life. And not only do I change their life, but they change their legacy. They change their future generation's legacy. And the best fulfillment for me is realizing, understanding that I've duplicated myself and I gave somebody the same opportunity that I had. Mm -hmm. And I really coached them through all of the failures that I've made. Don't do this, don't do that, do this, don't do that. Like the idea with this is just imagine. So the closest way to achieve anything is to find somebody doing what you wanna do and just pick their brain and figure it out. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here. The wheel's already been duplicated. We'll show you how to make the wheel and then you can refine it, you can make it softer, you can do what you want but you get to bypass all of those failures. Mm -hmm. And the fulfillment comes for me is understanding and realizing when I bring somebody out of like the station in life that they're at and I changed their life. I got a kid, he was a welder. I picked him up at the Ellie event and I just coincidence, it's not really a coincidence, it's a God thing. God you know, put, put us in the same position to talk to each other. And I talked to him and I convinced him to come out here. And he had never sold anything in his entire life. He was a blue collar a guy. I think he made like $25,000 last month. But not only that, but he has elevated his fitness. He has elevated his, his relationship with God. And he's elevated all of his standards in his life. His life dramatically changed. And I just had a birthday celebration with him a week ago. And he's like, dude, you and Nadia made so much impact in my life. I'll never be able to repay you. Mm -hmm. He's Even, embedded. Take the $25,000 out of the equation. Take that, out of the, take that out of that equation, maybe he's broke. But when somebody tells you something like that, that wasn't because I taught him the skills how to make money, which you'll learn. This is the ability of just elevating your standards. And this is why, dude, I will I, I'll go to war, I'll die for, for the Elliott Group because they've changed my life and they've changed my standards. And fulfillment comes for me is just being that vessel. This isn't about Luke's show. This is about you being the hero in your own story. Mm -hmm. I know you wanna do that. Right. I know you've been craving that. I know that you want someone that believes in you and sees potential in you that you've never seen in yourself. And you bought the lies of the world telling you you have to do this and you have to do that. But imagine you working with somebody that encourages that and sees that and wants the best for you. Not for me, but for you. This is the organization that I want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. So I love the Elliott Group. They believe in me. The standards are set so ridiculously high. I'm like, how am I going to do that? I'll figure it out. How am I going to do it? And then I reach that level. I'm like, dude, I did it. And then I get a new feedback loop. 
here's what you'll learn is that you're going to be able to change your entire life. But here's the other thing is you're going to be able to write your own paycheck with the sales skills that you'll learn here as well. I am the best. I believe I'm the best salesman on the planet. You can't convince me otherwise. Mm -hmm. When I hear people sell, I'm like, yeah, that's good, but I could do it like this. I believe that I am the greatest salesperson that's ever existed on the planet. And I'll teach you that. Well, and the numbers show it. <laughs> year after year. I always say the data don't lie. Yeah. You know, like people always say, I'm the best. And I'm like, okay, does the board say that? <laughs> I mean, and, and, and he's talking about a world, I mean, a United States wide board. It's pretty cool, right? Like not in his company, like across the US. It's pretty cool. And to be close to somebody that's doing stuff like that, that's pretty crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? And then we're close and then you're here and we're all together. I mean, dude, it's just like unreal. Um, but super important, guys. Uh, we're, we're in this, uh, and maybe it's forever because I know Luke knows, but we're in this solar boom. You say, well, what is that? Well, in Arizona, electricity, electricity is high as hell. When Luke was saying it's 82, what it means is if they would lower their stat down to 72, the thermostat, they're billed probably twice as much. And so people are compromising, you know, cool air for a lower bill. And then he can give them a, 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 a lower thermostat and not increase their bill. And um, there's ways to do that. Solar is that way. Um, he's very familiar with it. He knows where the direction, Luke has always known, but he knows the direction where solar's going. And there's a lot of homes. I mean, I think we talked about last time, 92% of the homes in the world don't have solar. Or yeah. Something like that. Like, so like, I mean, like. In Arizona. Oh, in Sunny Arizona. State in the yeah. country, 92% of the people do not have solar. Sunny state in the country. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. So if you're coming up. Mind boggling. Yeah. So if you're walking up on, on, uh, 10 houses, that means nine ain't got solar. Okay, so like, dude, it's like an open game right now. So we're calling it the solar boom. And so like the next five years, I mean, could you imagine being, setting yourself up financially over the next couple years to where you're good for the rest of your life if you wanted to be and you could have so many choices? Like that's crazy. And be around good people, become a better person. I mean, that's insane. The fact that this is an, even like an opportunity like, I wish I was 18 watching this. I mean, I wish I was, I mean, well, I wish I was 39 watching this. <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> if I wouldn't have started my company, I would be with him because everything I ever wanted lies in what he's built. And um, I'm telling you guys, listen, this, and this is super important. And I'll let kind of, you know, Luke uh, wrap it out here. Um, everybody wants to be better. Everybody wants to break their bloodline. Uh, everybody wants to, you know, live a life that counts. Everybody wants to be fulfilled, like Luke was talking about. Everybody wants to be a leader. And there's just a lot of places right now you really, you, you can't be that. No one wants you to be that. No one's helping you to be that. No one wants you to make more money. Nobody's positively peer pressuring you uh, to be greater. You know, to, nobody cares whether you hit your dreams or not. Well, this guy cares. And so, like, it's just a really cool thing. And, you know, there's going to be times in your life where, where you're going to want to change and you want to become great and no one's going to be there and no one cares. And like right now, if that's you and you're feeling that itch, um, you make sure you go down to the description box, click on that link. L Luke will reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Um, Luke, uh, a lot of people, because I, I, I want you to, let's slay all the dragons in the room. Okay. Okay. So like, 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 like that means negative thoughts stuff like that. Let's slay these dragons. Oh man, if it was in real estate, I would do it. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm, I'm not wanting to sell solar. Okay. Okay. How do you slay that dragon? Because people, they like, they see, they hear solar and maybe they had a buddy that sold solar somewhere else mm -hmm. and they didn't like it. Yeah. Maybe solar salesperson knocked on their door. Maybe they hear solar and it sounds unattractive. I'm like, yeah. oof. I couldn't imagine, you know, going to a birthday party and everybody's like, so, you know, what, what do you do? And you're like, oh, I sell solar, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And um, let, let, let's talk about that for a minute, you know? The alternative with Yeah, yeah, because, you know, I, I, I want to say this and then I, and I'll let, because nobody knows it more than you. Um, I had a kid that was selling solar and his parents laughed at him, made fun of him and all this stuff. And 
He just paid his parents' house off. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're not laughing right That's now. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, they're pretty happy he got in solar. Uh -huh. um, so can we just talk about that for a minute, about like the false misconception yeah. um, of, of, of solar and then how working with you yeah. compares and competes with no other company on planet Earth Yeah, with so, solar? <clears throat> the fastest, I was going to reiterate this. There's a bunch of things that you said in there. There's a bunch of objections that he said in there. But... Uh, let's I, let's isolate one of them. So the first is, it, foremost is if you let's say you're living in New York and you tell your family I'm going out to Arizona to go sell solar, the family is gonna say, dude, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Like, don't just say safe and come. Maybe you got a job. The best people we recruit are people that got jobs. Make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Like, dude, I'm making great money. I'm making great money. I'm making a hundred thousand dollars a year. And then your family's gonna be like, and I call these guys the dream stealers. They mm -hmm. gave up on their dreams and they don't want you don't want to encourage you to do yours. Mm -hmm. Most of the people that I bring on, like there's a space, like I'm coming out and then they're waiting a week and then they talk to their family, tell their family what they're gonna do and their family tries to convince them otherwise. Now, what, one thing you understand, they're not trying to, they're not trying to do them harm, but they're looking at life through their lenses. Now, the first thing I ask them is how much are your parents making? Mm -hmm. And if they say fifty, sixty thousand dollars, I was like, "Don't listen to them about financial advice. That's stupid." Yeah, because you'll be making fifty or dude, 60. you'll be making, you'll be safe and comfortable in your old hometown doing nothing but mm -hmm. making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. I only take advice, financial advice, from people that are doing better than me. I'm never going to take financial advice from anybody that's doing worse than me. That's mm -hmm. stupid. Unless I want to go trade in my, you know, one point eight million dollar job to, for a fifty thousand dollar job. Like it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So the first and foremost thing is you will have the dream stealers. But here's the other thing. Here's the other idea. And it kind of goes back to what we're, what we're doing. We're not just selling solar. We're, we're selling a deep emotional human need. Mm -hmm. Control and certainty. Now, when people ask, what do you do? Well, I, I actually do certainty. I give people certainty and predictability. And I give them peace of mind, better quality of life. Like, what do you do? That, that's what I do. Well, well how do you do that? Well, I, just, I just do it. And so the idea behind this is like, in a real estate deal, there's always gonna, someone's gonna be a loser, so you're gonna be taking advantage of somebody. In some other transaction, there's, it's a transactional. This is one equation where everybody wins. Yeah, the customer's gonna be saving hundreds of thousands of dollars here in Arizona over a 25 year period. Imagine that. You come to someone's house and the whole idea, hey, would you like to save $150,000 in the next 25 years? If they knew that you were serious and they knew what you knew, they would do this, right? Fact. Absolutely, absolutely. We're gonna give you absolute certainty for the rest of your life. You're gonna have control over your finances. Dude, if they knew what you knew, they would do this, absolutely. And so this is really what we're doing. Now in a real estate transaction, who knows? Maybe you find someone that's making a billion dollars a year. I would say go do them. If the guy's gonna show you how to make a billion dollars, but I have, I have uh, perfected making over seven figures and I will personally teach you how to do it. Mm. So if you, in an organization, you're looking at what should I do? I should do this, I should do that. But if you can find somebody that's already done what you wanna do, latch on to them and, and like pick their brain, just get close. Get close and figure out what did you do here? What did you do here? What did you do here? How do I do this? How do I do this? That is a proven blueprint for success. You're not trying to figure out, oh, I gotta go to my charts, graphs, and maps and figure out how to do this. So I gotta figure out my strategy. You're just latching onto someone that's already done it. They have a proven uh, uh, success blueprint. That's what you do. That's the fast track for anybody to be successful. Find somebody doing what you wanna do and get close and figure it out because they'll teach you. Andy's willing to teach, Andy's teaching the masses on how to be able to do these things. Like, this is why you're attracted to him, because that you know proximity is everything. You know that if he's gonna tell you something that might change the trajectory of your life, mm -hmm. which is exactly why you're listening to this podcast today. Mm -hmm. You have an opportunity to change your life. That's right. You gotta want it. You gotta be willing to sacrifice some of those naysayers. Maybe it's some of your family. It's gonna be a hard decision. But I promise you, when you take that risk, the reward on the other side is something that you never you never dreamed possible. Yeah, well the risk is not doing anything. Life is risky. Nobody gets out alive. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. I so, hear people all the time like, I know I just can't I can't afford to take that risk right now. I'm like, how much you got saved up? Yeah. Well, you know, this hundred grand, you know, job, I I might do, do you understand if you made a hundred grand for ten years, that's a million. Yeah. Would you rather ooh, make a hundred for that's ten good. years? That's right there. I mean, dude, you just gave up 10 years when you yeah. can do that in one year? Yeah. Like, what are you talking about, dude? You're sacrificing nine years of your life. Yeah. Like, that you didn't have to. 
Like, come on, man. One other thing I just want to hit on this point. So here's the thing. Here's what I've done. So since I've been making millions and millions and millions of dollars in the solar industry, dude, I own five sets of apartment complexes. I own one in Dallas, one in Houston, one in North Carolina, one in South Carolina, and one in Pennsylvania. I own multiple houses across the board. You know how I did that? Not because I'm a real estate guru. I had enough disposable income to mm-hmm. invest in cash flow properties. Imagine that. So maybe you go, oh, how do I figure out the real estate game? Well, first I got to figure out this financing and all this other stuff. Or maybe you just have an abundance of money. You find in these groups, you invest your money, you get cash flow every single month in a month out. It's a three to five year hold. And then at the end of the term, you're going to get 20 to 30% return on your investment. Wouldn't you rather do that and do something that allows you to write your own paycheck? So the, the real estate stuff's out there. Like I, I love real estate. I love, everybody loves real estate, something but I'm has not to going make into in, it. Something has to make income. Yes. Yeah, guys, step one of building a big, beautiful life is is you have to get a job that can pay you really good money so that you can start making really good income so then you can actually have choices. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep, 100%. And, and so the key to the special life is find a place that you can make really good money. Yeah. And and that's this, guys. By the way, everything we've talked about since the very beginning, it's amazing. I uh, really wanted you guys to hear Luke talk. You can just tell that he wears his heart on his sleeve. He loves everybody. His goal is to impact the world. He's everything that he wants with his wife and his kids. He just he just wants to change more lives. Like it's crazy. Like he's just addicted to, you know, who's next? Who's next? Who's the next one I'm gonna self-develop? You know, who's my next testimony? And so if that's you and you're watching this and you're like, okay, cool, man, you know, I'm in. I wanna have a conversation with Luke. Very simple. Go down into the description box, click on the link, enter your information, make sure your phone number, your email's right. Um, Luke will reach out to himself within the next 24 hours. So Luke, I love you, bro. Love you too. You're awesome. His company's called True Grit. Super cool. Just awesome, man. Just cool names, cool shirts. They all rep their stuff. They're all kicking butt. Um, if you're interested in anything and everything that we've said, and you're like, man, dude, I, I want to know more about this. I'm committed. I'm not interested. I'm committed. Like I'm committed to living that kind of life. Make sure you go down, enter your information. Luke will call you in the next 24 hours. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Let's kill it. Good. That was a good job, Luke. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero zero zero. One percenters. Look, I know one percenters that can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says coach with me one-on-one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.